What is good YouTube and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be <laughs> putting on my new diaphragm for my K-Tuned fuel pressure regulator. Now, when I came back, I haven't touched the car in about a week or so. So, I took everything apart. I'll show you guys how to put it back together if this happens to you. Hopefully this is my problem. Because at this point, it's pretty much a guessing game. Okay. On top of my tranny is all wet of fuel. My bottom return line is filled. Well, from here to the fitting is filled with fuel. Now, the f it's not leaking from the fitting. It's leaking from the like the sending is sending fuel. And it's like, it's like the fuel is traveling up and it's leaking out the regulator. <sighs> so what I did was I got some parts cleaner, sprayed, sprayed the whole thing. And, um, yeah, I just been cleaning it off, but this is ridiculous, man. All right. Since the training's cleaned off now, um, that whole area is cleaned off. For some reason, I think maybe my fuel pump might be bad to where um, the check valve and stuff is causing it to leak. Um, maybe my injectors, who knows, but we'll see if this doesn't solve the issue. Because right now, fuel isn't coming up. It's just staying put. So, who knows? But here's the new diaphragm. And um, this is the old one that came with it. If you can. All right. If you guys could see there, there's a like a little rip. Okay. So on the diaphragm, you want a nice thin layer of Honda Bond. That's what k recommends. So you're gonna wanna place it about there. Like so. Just tap it around. All right. So now it should be sitting like that. Right, so next up, when you take all of this apart, this is how it's supposed to sit. The top hat, yeah, let me try to get this set up for you guys. Okay, so pretty much when all this comes apart, this piece goes in. So it goes in like this. And then you get the spring and it goes over. Okay, so when it re reassembled, it should look like this. Um, just go ahead and make sure everything is tight. That's how you install it that's how you put it on um to be honest with you i'm gonna let it let the honda bond sit overnight and i'm gonna let it do its thing so that it seals up nice and good um it's pretty cold outside today so i'm not gonna be um working on the car well at least not on this one i'm gonna be working on the si doing the clutch master cylinder um adjustment all right, guys. So it's been about two days since you last seen that last clip. Um, it is not leaking anymore. I've let it completely dry up. So I'm going to put you guys on the stand while on the tripod. And I'm going to zoom in onto the, the valve, well, the vent. And um, we're going to see if it if it leaks when I prime. All 
All right, so far so good. So that noise that you were hearing, kind of like a belt squeak, is definitely coming from this side, obviously, duh. Um, as far as which one it is, I'm not sure. I haven't gotten that deep into diagnos like diagnosing it. I haven't gotten that deep to diagging it. Um, but what I think maybe could be my um my water pump or possibility could be my alternator but um honestly we wouldn't know until i actually start taking it apart but um i haven't started the car in like two weeks because of this fuel issue so um yeah i'm just gonna start it again i'm gonna check um uh, I'm gonna check like if, if it's okay, you know, if it's running fine, if it's leaning out. Well, and I'm going away. I don't know what it was, but. She's idling good. She's low on, low on fuel pressure. She doesn't have enough gas, so. Um, for sure, I know I'm gonna need gas soon, but I should hold up. code for engine over temp and when i checked it was at uh like 220 so right now i'm letting the fans cool it off letting the air cool it off um maybe maybe it's the water pump i didn't change the water pump to be honest uh Maybe it could be, who knows? Honestly, who knows at this point. But the fans are working their magic. So that's good. Still no leaks. So, uh, my fans just shut off at uh, 185. It's been like five, six minutes to be honest. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it cool down all the way. Um, I noticed 
my top hose is like cold. So either I don't have enough radiator fluid or coolant or my thermostat isn't opening or worst case, my water pump. So worst comes to worst, I'll, uh, I'll take out the thermostat and I'll run open, open thermostat. I mean, no thermostat at all, to be honest. Um, yeah, pretty much. I'll go ahead and turn off the ignition. But um, honestly, that felt great. Just to hear it run. I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna try to bleed the coolant because I actually never got the car hot enough to do it. So let's go ahead and do that. And um, see where start where I can go. Right now she's staying about one ninety two to one ninety four. The fans are on. Uh, so I just let it idle a little bit more. I got the heat on now. Well. I'm trying to get heat on the inside, but it's still cold. It's still cold in here, so we keep trying, boys. But so far, I guess maybe I just had like a couple cooling pockets. That's probably why it wasn't like it was going over temp. All right, so the reason why I was showing you guys the, the coolant temperature sensor adapter um, is because it was leaking. So what I did was, you know, I removed it and I put Teflon tape on it and yeah, so it's not leaking anymore. Now we're gonna go ahead and start the car again and have a second. All right, boys, so good news. I got heat. Got heat in the car. Uh, the blower motor is blowing. It's, it's like, <laughs> pause. Uh, it's turning. One of the relays down there, at the, at the in, like the in car fuse box, is like sticking off. So basically, when I turn it off, it just won't turn back on. But um, long story short. When I tap them, obviously it'll turn back on. So um, that's a good, that's a good sign. Uh, right now the car is staying about like 190. Now it's a, a like six degrees less than um, than a couple cups before that you've seen. So I'm not gonna drag this video on any longer. Thank you guys so much. Um, I really appreciate it. Thank you to every single one of you who watched the videos and like, comment, subscribe. Just like always, man. Um, you know, every little problem that came up today is solved. Um, now I just hope that the pressure, well, the temperature stays the same, you know what I mean? But that'll be all for today, man. Like, comment, subscribe, and tell me what you guys think. Bye.